progress. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Can you see? Yes. Yes. What's the weather like today? Um, in the morning, it's rainy a lot. Oh. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it rained a lot. Okay. And in the afternoon? Uh, in the afternoon, it's a little bit rain. Okay. And what's your favorite weather? My favorite weather is sunny. Oh, why is that? Because sunny, I can't go outside. Uh -huh. Play with my friends. Yes, okay, I agree. <laughs> okay, thank you for telling me about the weather. Okay, so I think we shall start. So our lesson for today is more about reading and writing. In the first part, we will learn some vocabulary words and we will see a lot of notices how to answer something uh -huh. and we will read a story okay so what are we waiting for let's go there you go slideshow reading and writing we are in test three uh huh. Lesson four. Okay. Test three. Lesson four. Okay. Reading and writing. Let's go to the vocabulary words. Please read number one. Cassette. 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 Yes. Cassette. Look at the picture. Have you seen one before? Yeah. You did? Have you used yeah. one before? Uh, I don't use this. No, okay. What is a cassette tape used for? What is this for? I think for a radio. Put in a radio. Oh, yes. And then what will come out from the radio? Uh like a song a story yes so we can use a cassette by using a cassette player sometimes it has a built-in radio you're right okay and how about today how do we listen to music uh Nowadays, how do we listen to music if we don't use these things no more? Uh, by phone? Yes, by phone. Okay, let's go to number two, please. Competition. 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 What happens in a competition? Uh, we have competition like... Uh, like a race. Yes. Okay. So who is the best among among them? Okay. So we can also say a competition when it comes to business. Okay. So who, someone who tries to be more successful than the others. That is also a competition. Okay. Next is number three. Toast. Toast. Is it like this? Toast. Toast. No, I mean, is, is it the part where two glasses were like this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Another meaning, meaning for toast is like this. What can you see? What does toast mean? Um, like break, but it's thin. 
Yes. Changes. And then uh, it's small, smaller than bread. Okay. And then where do you put the bread? Uh, we to make it into a toast because the bread alone is just a bread. How do we make it into a toast? So we put in an uh, oven. Yes, an oven toaster. So you're right. Sliced bread browned on both sides by exposure to heat like the oven toaster and do you have an oven toaster at home no no do you like toast uh, i think a little bit okay so not really okay number four this jockey yes or Shortcut. DJ. DJ. This jockey or DJ. What do j this jockey do? Um, I have a music and we use a hand. Yes. Okay. That looks fun. <laughs> okay. So they play the music. And they introduce the name of the songs too. Like, oh, the next song is, and then they will introduce the song. <laughs> okay. Have uh, you it's seen? Always in the bar. Oh yes, there is. Uh huh. <laughs> You're right. I've seen one also on TV. Okay, but mostly you can see this one on in the bar. Okay. Now let's go to the notices. The descriptions are on the left and on the right are the are the notices. We have one example. You can only get small pictures here. The answer is H. What or which Mm, word uh, has the same meaning with small pictures. Same meaning as small pictures. That's precise. Only for uh, only four, four, three pounds. Yes, passport size. So the passport size are so small. So those are small pictures. Okay. And let's go to number one. Please read number one. You can use this for two, day, yes. two days. Two days. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Two days only. Let me underline them. I can't see you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For two days only. This one's quite hard. Let's skip on it. Okay. Let's go to number mm -hmm. two. Students do not have to pay to go here at weekends. Do not have to pay at weekends. Weekends. Which word? Maybe phrase. Oh, words that have the same meaning as weekends. Mm -hmm. And students don't have to pay. I 
nothing. E. Yes. How did you know? Would you care to explain? Uh, Saturday and Sunday is a weekend. Uh, to pass, to pass, I think for others uh -huh. and students free. Free. Free means don't have to pay. You're right. Okay, let's go to number three, please. Someone would like to speak another language. Okay. Another language. Mm. And, uh huh. Which language is it? Spanish. Okay. So if you want to learn, it means you would like to speak another language. Okay. It's A. Number four, please. If you study here, you will pay less for this. Mm -hmm. You will pay less. Example of pay less. If you have to pay or the normal price is five pounds, you will pay less. It could be just four, just four. If you study here, just four or just three, because you study here, you have a discount. That is called discount. Which one is it? Uh, C. Yes. You're right. How much is the discount for students? Uh, col students, three pounds. For college students, it's only two fifty pounds. Two pounds fifty. Yes. Yeah, so it's, and remember, you study here, so you are college student okay so that is 4c number five please you can find things to listen to the college okay things to listen here in the college What things do we use for listening? Mm. Uh, cause, cause Look at that. Yes, that is B. B. You're right. Okay, so we use a cassette to listen. So now let's go to number one. Let's go back to number one. We only have three choices remaining. Mm -hmm. Two days only. Look at letter D. Do you think this is the answer? Um, Two no. days, oh, 24 hours. No, so this is not the answer. Now, look at F and G. Two days only. I will tell you the answer and look for clues. The answer is F. Which word is related to two days? Um, weekend. Uh-huh. Why is that? Because weekend is two days. Yes, that's it. 
So remember, do not always look for the exact words. Look for related or synonymous to them. Okay, there you go. Let's go to the next activity. Mm -hmm. Read the sentences about Jane's hobby. Oh, it's about a hobby. And choose the best word. We have one example. Of course, this one is favorite. Jane's favorite hobby is taking photographs. Let's go to the actual activity. Please read and answer number six. He hopes to become yes. okay. a photographer for a newspaper one day. Photographer. Phot photographer. Yes. Photographer. Okay. The stress is at ta. Photographer. That is called stress where you put it into a higher, higher, higher. Okay, number seven. He joined a photography club to learn more about using a camera. Why join? What is it? Join like we... Um, Where did, did she join? In photography. Photography club. club. It's a club. So it's join. You're right. Okay, number eight, please. Jane says it's hard. It is. It's hard. What's hard for Jane? Hard to take picture of children or animals because they are all always moving. Yes, always moving. Okay. What else? Okay. Let's go to number nine. There was a notice about a competition Very in a book. Good. In <laughs> so she must have seen the notice and so she, she joined. Okay. Number 10. Jane won the first prize for one of her pictures. Yay! Perfect score, Lynn. Okay. <laughs> Next activity. Uh huh. Another five conversations. And this time, find the one or how to respond on each question. Okay. Let's show them all first. I will, I will, oh, oh no. <laughs> when will lunch be ready? When? Quite soon. Quite soon. How about my answer will be it's soup and toast. Can you ask, make or make the question? What could be the question? It's soup and toast. Uh, what do we eat today? Yes. What are we going to eat today? Okay. Number 12. It's very hot in here. I'll turn on the heating. Oh, no. It's already hot. If you turn on the heating... I'll have an, a heat stroke. <laughs> it's already hot, dear. Let's go outside then. Okay. How about the answer is I'll turn on the heating. How could I be feeling? I feel cold. Yes, it's very cold here. Oh, I'll turn on the heating. There you go. Have you met Henry before? Yes, on holiday. Yes, would you like to turn this one into a full thought answer? Can you find the missing words? This is 
correct, but can you add this one? Yes, I have. I will meet Harry on holiday. Oh, again. Have you met Henry before? Yes, I have. I I have met, met I have, I have met. met I have met Harry on holiday. Yes, because this is in the past, dear. It means they have met in the past, okay? So that is the full answer, but they cut it into pieces and this is correct too, okay? Number 14, do you like visiting museums? Mm. Do you? Not really. Not really. How about my answer is, I'd love to. What is the question? Uh, would you learn a cat? Would you? Would you? Learn? Love, love, a cat, a cat. Oh, would you like to relate it into the the uh, the question? Turn this one. Uh, uh -huh. Would you like to visit museum? Would you like to visit museum? Okay, I've broken my glasses. My glasses. Mm. That's pity. That's a pity. Oh, poor you. Just like saying, oh, poor you. Okay. So we can't say here's another one because we have different types of glasses, right? Different types of glasses. We can't say here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Next activity. And ooh, complete the conversation. What does the student say to the assistant in the tourist information office? I will be the tourist tourist information assistant and you will be the student. Okay? Okay. Hello, can I help you? What well, I'm uh, well. I'm studying at a low language school, not the university. Mm. Can I help you? Means, how can I help you? Like, is there something that you need or you want to know? Can I help you? And my answer is, do you want the university tennis courts or the city ones? Tennis courts. Um, yes, please. Where's, wait, where are the, the tennis courts? Yes, that is what you're going to ask. Do you want the university tennis courts or the city ones? Mm. Well, I'm a student at a language school, not the university. Ooh, I am about to ask you first. I haven't asked you yet. <laughs> I haven't asked you yet if you are a student at the university. <laughs> oh, are there different ones? I didn't know. Okay, so you see, I gave you two choices. The, the university tennis courts and the city ones. Oh, and you're wondering, oh, are there different ones? Yes. Are you a university student? 
they can use the university once. Well, I am a language school, not a university. Oh, so you need the city tennis courts. They are in the Park Street. That find is a Park Street just after the Hyde Street. Well, let me see. Mm -hmm. That could be. But my answer is, if you walk, it's about 20 minutes. Mm, is that far from here? Uh, well, if you walk, it's about 20 minutes. That fine is Patrick's just after the high street. That's right. Take the third road on the left, then it's on the right. Thank you. I will then go there now. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So when you're not sure about the answer, uh -huh, look up and down or the, oh, I forgot the term, context. Okay. So we are looking for the answer in C example. So you see, I gave you choices and the answer is, uh -huh, okay. So look around the context, okay? Not just the first one. One, two. Next, one, two. So they have always numbers, dear. One, two, one, two. Context. Oh. Here comes the story. It's about a singer. Okay. We will read the story first, talk about it, and then we will answer some questions if they are right, wrong, or doesn't say. Okay. So it's about John Pickering. Okay. So uh, please wait. Read the first paragraph. I will read the second and the last paragraph, okay? Your turn. John Pickering in a park in a small town in central England. John Pickering caused the grass and watered the flowers. But all last week he was in Tokyo in millions of Japanese. People watched the, the 35 years old gardener Year old, getting near on television because John is the number one singer in Japan at the moment. John visited Japan a few months ago to sing in dance clubs in Osaka and Nagoya. Nagoya. Osaka. Nagoya. Nagoya. Osaka and Nagoya. A district. He heard his song and played them on his radio show. Hundreds of young people phoned the radio and asked the disc jockey to play the song on smooth. Okay, John, who uses the name John Otis when he sings in Japan, is not going to stop working in the park in England. He does not know yet how much he will earn from his music. I must keep my job in the park, he says. I still have to pay my bills. The other gardeners do not know that he is famous in Japan. They've never heard, they've never even heard him sing. John's wife, Denise, a hospital worker, says, this will not change the way we live. I only know John Pickering, not John Otis. Okay, now let's talk about John Pickering. And uh, where is his hometown? In central England. 
Okay, so he's from England. Has he visited another another country before? In Japan. 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 Okay. And what does he do in England? Mm. What does he do? Uh, His job. John visited Japan a few months ago to sing in sing in dance club in oh. Osaka. I mean, what is John's job in England? I will just underline some words, okay? What does he do in England? Cut the grass and water the flower. Yes, if you cut the grass and water the flowers, what are you? What's the name of your job? Mm -hmm. What's the name of his job? He is a gardener. He is a gardener. Okay. A gardener takes care of the garden. In the garden, he cuts the grass and water the flowers. So he is a gardener. And how about in Japan? What does he do there? Uh, John visit Japan a few months ago to sing in dance club in Os Osaka in Osaka. Osaka. Okay, so he is a singer. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, and is he famous? Yeah. Is he famous in Japan? Yes, too. Yes. How about in England? Is is he famous in England? No. No, he isn't. Does anyone know that he can sing? What? Does anyone know? Oh, I mean the other gardeners. Do they know that he can sing? Mm, no. no. Okay. And does John Pickering have a screen name? Screen name. A name he uses as a singer or on TV. John Otis. Yes. So John Otis is what. He used in Japan and he is John Pickering and in England. Okay. And when he became famous, did he leave his job as a gardener? He is famous in Japan, right? Did he stop being a gardener because of that? Mm, no. No, so he is still a gardener. Why didn't he stop being a gardener? Why? No. Uh-huh. Something He's poor. Is he? Could be. What else? How does he feel about being a singer? What does he think about his music career? Mm -hmm. Mm 
He doesn't know yet how much he will be earning from this. Yes, so he thinks if he won't earn a lot for being a singer, at least he still got a job in the park as a gardener. Okay. How about her wife? Uh huh. Does he want John to stop singing? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No? Yes or doesn't say? Does, what's John's wife's name? What's her name? Denise. Denise. Does he want John to stop singing? No. No. Doesn't say. <laughs> but the sure thing is, he she said, nothing will change the way they live. Okay, so do you have any questions or words you want to be explained before we go to the activity? Mm. Okay, everything's clear. Now let's go to the... Okay, we have one example. Right, wrong, or doesn't say. John Pickering usually works in England. Yes! Uh -huh. Okay, your turn. Please read number 21. A few days ago, John was on television in Japan. Was he? Uh, right. Right. Okay. Number 22, please. Our first show... In Japan was on radio. Radio? Was mm. it? Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Where was it? Uh huh. Where did they first listen to John Pickering's music? Where can we usually? See this jockeys, the one you said. Mm -hmm. uh, when he's a gardener. Oh, I think you said that no one knows he can sing back in England, just in Japan. So where? was John's first show in Japan. It's in the dance club in Osaka in Nagoya. Dance clubs. Okay. <laughs> Number 23, please. John House to become famous in England one day. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't say. Doesn't say. Okay, number 24. John Pickering and John Otis are the same person. What do you think? It doesn't say. Mm -hmm. Remember what John Pickering's name is in Japan? Mm hmm. It wrong. Mm -hmm. So his name in England is John Pickering. Am I right? Yes. How about in Japan? Yes. What's his name when he's in Japan? Screen name. John Otis. So are they just one person, the same person? The same person. The same. So this is right. Right. Because they are just one person. Number 25, please. John will still work in the park because he needs the money. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 26. Join classes. Thinks his whole leg. His song is holy. Holy. Uh -huh. Think his song are very really good. Mm -hmm. mm, wrong. Wrong. Because the other gardeners who are John's colleagues, do they know that John can sing? No. No. So this is wrong. Number 27, please. John's wife would like him to stop singing. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say. Okay. Next activity. Okay. Read the article about postcards. Okay. Choose the best word for each space. Questions 28 to 35. Mark A, B, or C. Okay. So these are fill in the blanks, but we've got choices. Okay. As for number one, oh no, it's zero. Today, people like to send postcards to their friends and family. Okay. Your turn, number 28, please. This podcast often can, shall, do. Oh, 28. Mm -hmm. Had, has, have, sorry. Had, mm. has, have. Uh, have. Yes, have. Because postcards are many. Okay. Next, please. Picture of pictures, mountain, our castle, on they had you. Uh huh. Can. Shall do. Um, can, shall do. When you and you blank, um, right? And message. you can when you shall do. Uh, when you can. Yes, and you can write. You can write. Okay, number 30. You can write a message on the back. Many people say postcard. Until, when, during. When. When, yes. Okay, going. When they are on holiday because postcards are cheap and the picture on them are often best, better, good. Better. Yes. Okay. Better than people's own photos. Okay. And have you been on a trip or a vacation before, Lynn? Like out of the country? No. Um, no. No, you haven't. But have you sent someone a postcard? Hello? Oh, no, it's my internet. Uh, no, I don't. No, you have. But have you seen a postcard before? <laughs> Okay, so we can't finish the lesson. We will continue it on our next meeting. Okay, but let's review. We learned some new words today, like gazette, toast, what else? And a DJ, disc, disc jockey. Okay. And we learned some words and synonymous to them, just like weekends, two days, don't have to pay, free, and what else? 
pay less. It means discount. Okay. Do you have any questions about the lesson, Lynn? Uh, no, I don't. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? <laughs> Brother John. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time, Lynn. I'll try to send your homework later or tomorrow morning. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>